Hello everybody. Welcome to Virtual School Physics is Fun. I'm Juan Liao. Today we are going to learn about waves. What is wave? When a system, an object, or a body oscillates or vibrates, wave is produced. So we are going to learn water wave, sound wave, and light wave. How is water wave produced? Let's look at this animation here. As you can see, the rod is oscillating up and down on the surface of water. So as the rod oscillates, the water wave is produced. Ripple is produced. Okay, water wave is produced. Next, sound wave. How is sound wave produced? Okay, in a speaker that is there is diaphragm when the diaphragm oscillates forward and backward sound wave is produced okay so when diaphragm oscillates so diaphragm is a, an example of a system so it oscillates sound wave is produced and this sound wave is transmitted to the air around light wave Light wave is a bit more complicated, but let's look at it in a simple explanation. Now, an atom, when an atom is heated up, the electrons absorb energy. So when they absorb energy, they will move up to a higher energy level. But when this electron that has absorbed energy move back, falls back to its original energy level, the energy that they have absorbed is released. So it is released. This energy is released as light energy. Okay? So wave is the form of energy. So how is this energy being transmitted? Okay. Alright. Look at the movement of the slinky. Okay, this thing is called slinky, yeah. So as you see, as the movement, as the slinky move, wave move forward. Right? That is from the red part of the slinky to the green part. So it moves forward. Alright, so wave is a form of energy. So this wave transfer energy forward. Alright, now look at the raffia string, the blue raffia string. The blue raffia string represents the particle of the medium. What is the movement of the raffia string? It is clearly shown that it is moving forward, backward, forward and backward. Does it move forward together with the wave, the energy of the wave until the end? No, right? It is only moving forward, backward and forward, backward. So what do we learn from here? It tells us that wave transfer energy without transferring matter. I repeat, wave transfer energy without transferring matter. Okay. okay, let's understand this concept of wave transfer energy without transferring matter. We want to understand it better. Eh? Let's look at this animation. All these black dots represents the particle of a medium, be it solid, liquid, or gas molecule. Yeah? So, you can see that the wave, that is something that is moving forward. So, this something that is moving forward is the energy. So, wave carries the energy forward from left to right. But then, the dots, the dots, uh, let's look at one black dot, which I've already uh, colored it red. So you see this dot, what is the movement? It is moving forward, backward, forward and backward. It does not move together with the energy of the wave until the end. Right? So this tells us, very clearly tells us that wave transfer energy without transferring the matter. The particle of the matter does not move together with the wave together with the energy of the wave. Okay, this is another type of wave. 
this particle of the wave is moving upwards and downwards, upwards and downwards. But the energy of the wave is moving forward. Okay, so again, the particles does not move together with the energy of the wave. So this tells us that wave transfer energy without transferring matter. Okay, so we will stop here today. We will continue with progressive versus stationary waves the next time. Thank you.